Hello and welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Allmark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And today we're going to have some fun with doing some vellum blends and using some alcohol inks to get some images. Um, things come around again and again and there's an awful lot of trends and there's this beautiful paper in the new annual catalogue. And I think everybody's sort of trying to have a go at replicating things and, and doing some of these fun backgrounds. So what we need, you need some kitchen roll or something absorbent because the alcohol will run and make a mess of your work surface. So if you're putting it on... Um, you know, a polished surface or a wooden surface, ensure that you've got a, a glass mat or something underneath. I've got my grid paper and I've got two pieces of kitchen paper to go on there and I think that that will be fine. You need some blends, blends of your choice and you can use, um, we're going to do one using three colours, we're going to do one using two colours and we're going to do a couple of different techniques with it so that you can see um, the different way of working. You need, now I'm not in for great huge messy things so I don't like the spraying. You can do it with um, spritzing it with our spritzer. I just like to put some alcohol in, um, some alcohol or rubbing alcohol into one of our um, aqua painters or water painters. Um, I've still got some aqua painters so I use this because that's the one that I have just for my alcohol to go in. Now types of alcohol, you need to have a high proportion of alcohol to get it work to work. It will curl. Now I'm in the UK and rather than going online to buy things, I went to my local chemist and I actually bought surgical spirit. Um, it contains active ingredients, 95% um, methylated spirit. So, you know, it, it's a high proportion and it works fine for me. So I can just pick that up from my local um, chemist or um, boots, somewhere like that. And I've had mine for, oh, I don't know, a good couple of years and I'm about nearly a halfway through and I use it quite a lot for various different techniques. So fill up your aqua painter um, or your water painter with the alcohol and then you're ready to go. So you need some vellum and I've cut some into different sizes because they're the sort of pieces and things I'm going to use so we're going to use a couple of them. Um, we stock vellum, the thicker the vellum the easier it is to do it because it doesn't quite curl as much. It will curl, but by the time it dries out, it flattens out and you can always sort of put it in a book. So what we need to do to start off with, I'm going to use these three colours. So I'm using a bright pink, I'm using a vibrant green, I'm, I'm using a blue. Really doesn't matter which ones you choose. I've chosen a dark Bermuda Bay. I've chosen the dark Granny Apple Green. And I've chosen um, the, I don't think, have I got the, no, I've chosen a light, lovely lipstick, which is actually, they might still be in the clearance rack. I got this from the clearance rack. And what you need to do is, I'm taking the wider tip, you're literally just going to lay down some colour wherever you want to do it, sort of do it in different blobs and things. And you can go over it as well because... Once it's on vellum, it looks a lot paler than it does on the lid. So I tend to do it sometimes a couple of times. But as I say, you're just going to colour it in. And you want to try and go right the way up across all of the, um, the vellum. You can make it run, so it's not absolutely vital. But, as I say, all we're doing is we're laying down these colours. And then when you're going in between, just don't allow it to go too sort of 
up against each other because you might mess your colours up a bit. But as I say, I'm not overly fussed with it. That's fine. So you can see there's a few little spaces. Then we're going to get our um, alcohol and you can just literally need to get some down on here you can literally just dab it through and it will start to um, run the colors so what I do to start off with is I tend to just sort of dab and try and get sort of as much of the alcohol in you can sort of press it sideways but you can see how it's starting to um, run through now obviously when you go into another color it will pick it up um, and you want to get as much of the alcohol in on there as possible now you can see you're getting this nice sort of blobby look now if you want to then just take it through from one bit to the other you can start to just blend it through so going around the edge parts and just taking those bits through you will find that it'll pill at the sides but that's fine that's why we've got the um um, kitchen paper um, underneath and as I say just literally dabbing across so it's not overly messy but the more that you sort of blend it through the easier it is and I can just stick my finger in the centre here and just come down on this bit so I can get that to run sort of into the side and that gives you your sort of blended look from there now if I because obviously I'm um, I would leave that too dry and as I say you will see you can see how it's starting to curl but that's um, that's only because the alcohol's gone on it now I'm going to very quickly on this way because I wanted to um, hold on I've got it blowing away on me. Let me just straighten this out again. Um, so I'm just going to take my heat tool and just very quickly dry this. But you can see um, it's a bit like when you saturate it with water. Um, it sort of pills up to start off with, but it will dry off very quickly. So I'm just sort of leaving that like that. And you can see that that's dried off. And then if you turn it over, you can see, and we're going to be putting it onto white card. I'm not going to put it onto that one, but you can see how you get all of these lovely colours coming through. Let me just do it on a scrap because it might bleed through at the moment because it's not completely dry. But can you see how you've got those pieces sort of coming through? Let me just bring it up so you can have a, a closer look. But you get all of those sort of little... Um, pilling pieces which I think is rather pretty I quite like it when they're sort of separated now if you have as you can see on here we've got a little bit that's uh, um, that's come over if you want to do some more when it's dry and I think we're almost there you can if you want to just go in again with your alcohol marker and take it over if you want a little bit more vibrancy in a certain area just take that through and then again with your um, alcohol I need to get that straight so we've got this little bit here and again the pink's quite good because it does sort of come through I like these little sort of um, little circly spots that come through so I'm literally just wanting to have a few of those so just literally tapping the top of it It will it will run through and if you don't want it to run any more than that then as I say just take it over and smooth it through onto the other side and you will see that you have 
these lovely little sort of broken circles which as I say I think are rather nice I quite like that effect on there so that's one let's take um let's take another one so this one you can see where it uh, um it just blobbed a bit where it rolled over um clean your brush off a little bit so you don't have the color coming through and this time we're going to do a darker one because again if you want to do a dark background now this is dark mossy meadow and again it really doesn't matter what colors you use um you know you can use lights or darks um the darker it is the more it will show up so let's just do this one on here but as i say i just want to do two colors in this now I think I'm going to use the, what's this one? Um, it's Calypso Coral Dark. So, so I think this is going to have a sort of a khaki type look. I won't know until I've actually started it, but this I'm going to have it running through more. So we haven't got the blobby bit and there's an easy way of doing that. So. And again, we're not getting overly mucky. Um, when you spray, you get a different look. So if you use your spritzer to do it, you will get a different look. But it is a lot messier. This is, this is a, um, a way of doing it where it's not so messy. So I'm going to do all of the oranges first. So I'm just getting a bit of um, colour on here. And this time... I'm wanting to just sort of blob it through. So I'm doing all of the Calypso Coral first. The more alcohol you have, the more that it runs. So I'm just making sure that I'm sort of squeezing it as I go. And this time I'm smoothing it through. Then I'm going to take the darker one and I literally want to run it through. So I need to make sure I'm getting some more out. The more you get out, the more it will move the, um, the blends uh, around. So I'm being quite careful at the moment to just go through onto these edges you can see here I've just squeezed it so it's coming out a bit more so this one I'm just taking it and as you can see as you add your alcohol in you will get it um, peeling uh, you know moving the paper around um, so where you've got these little spaces I'm just sort of bringing it up and again, just wiping it off as you would for any colour. And I'm going to put my um, heat tool on to just set it quickly. As I say, you can put it to one side. Like everything, you need to be, because it's alcohol, you need to be in a fairly, whoops, a fairly ventilated room because uh, it will uh, um, it does have a bit of a um, a bit of a smell and if you're using your heat tool but again I think that that's um, turn that over you've got a really rather nice pattern coming through let me just put this on to the white on here so again you can see you've got all of that running through and you get almost a marble effect okay so we're going to do one last one and this time we're going to blend it more into each other. So I've got another piece here. And this time I'm going to use the dark rich razzleberry. So it's going to have the purple in it. And again, I'm trying to take it so that it's... as covering as much of the card as I can take a 
make it right down to the side as I say it will come off the side so you don't have to worry too much so that's rich raspberry then I'm going to use the which is the brighter pink so that's that lovely lipstick but any as I say um, of the brighter pinks would work that down on there and then what am I going to have that's going to go with those two um, let's go back to the shall we have orange or shall we have green um, I think I'm going to do and this again is a it's just a bit of an experiment so you know play around with your colors so this is going to have the Um, granny apple green which is a quite a nice vibrant sort of green and I'm just having a piece in there so you can go through a couple of times to build up the color so you get more vibrancy of color on there and then this time I'm going to I just want to have so I'm going to squeeze it so that I get literally really big drops coming through so just take this out on here so it's um, coming through in big drops as you can see and it will just pull all of those together I'm doing this because I want it to blend right into each other so I'm putting a lot of the alcohol on and then this time I'm literally just going from one side to the other because I don't want those lines I just want it to be and I'm doing the one color first I'm taking it right to the edge I'm doing the one color first and then I'm going to clean the brush because you can see there's a lot of that rich raspberry and then I'm going to do the green but again, take it so that it runs right through into the other colours. So I don't want those edges coming through. Clean that off a bit. And let's just get this one up in on here. So you can bring it off. Now you can see you've got a really nice line coming through on this one. And as I say, I want this on here. I don't want the line on there. I want it to come. So right the way through and just sort of spread it across. So you can see how it's, it's, it runs through, which is rather nice, without giving the line. Now, if you turn your heat tool on, you can blow it a bit as well before it's dried. So that you can get this really rather nice. Um, almost like a marbled effect so before it's dry just move that ink um, sorry the alcohol round a bit and you get a different look again okay so let's just turn that off says me I can't turn the thing off that's it right okay so you've now got this one and again you can see I really love this sort of bit at the top where you've got a lot of alcohol and what it's given you is let's turn it over this way it's given you that really sort of spread out look so you've got three sort of different looks from that you've got this where you've got your little clusters so let's just put this one in here so you've got your little sort of clusters by drip 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 you know just dot 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 carefully so it doesn't spread too much this one we've taken it from one color to the other but again haven't spread it too much so you've still got that sort of definition coming through and this third one has the most amount of alcohol put in and it spreads it right through so whichever you want and I thought we would then make um, and you can see I've only used a tiny little bit of alcohol this will last you forever just keep your 
um, your cap on and what I would do is mark it or keep it separately so you know that one contains your alcohol um, so let's have a look at uh, um, making a card which one are we going to use um, I don't know I've got um, what have I got I've got the best way to put these on and this is where I'm going to show you how to stick them on for the best I want it to go with this um, this flower so it would actually work with any of them um, but I think I quite like it with the dark one I think we're going to use it with this one um, and then maybe have it with there and then I'm going to do something with the other side so we're going to use this one which was the um, rich raspberry and granny apple green and I've got a frame here so what I need to and you can see if your alcohol hasn't dried you will get little spots and things so I'm just going to try and rub that it, it's worth waiting a little while for everything to dry completely on there because you've had quite a few colors you will find that it uh, um, it will sort of splot a bit so I'm just going to work out where I like this the best so if I'm having that there and I'm having this in over the top I think that's nice with a combination of that purple and that pink so the easiest way is to take the um, frame and I've done this frame just with the stitched rectangles um, you know you all know how to do that um, you can and I'll show you once I've got this stuck on here because I'm only doing it this way so I can um, cut round and just take the piece size that I want so let's take it round on here so I'm just putting some wet glue down on the sides my finger out the way so I can make sure that it's glued all the way okay you can do it on double sided but it doesn't really matter and I want it to come so that it comes through on here with some of that green I quite like the green blending in together so I'm just literally sticking my frame on and then I can, with my snips, just cut round that frame. So, very quickly. You can do it with your paper trimmer if you want to, but I find it as easy to do fit with um, the snips. Need to make sure that it, it's still a little damp. I can feel it. As I say, if you're doing it yourself, just put them to one side and leave them for a little while because that will allow time for it to completely dry and then you're not going to get the little bits from underneath so I just need to be careful that I haven't got these bits on my finger I'm going to put it into the center so I don't take it right onto my finger so let's just take this round here vellum is quite easy to cut and as I say if you do a frame then you don't need to do any gluing if you want to glue it on and I will show you on one of the pieces um, you can do it so it doesn't show through and um, I was quite surprised but uh, it does work quite well okay so we've taken that off I'm going to put this into and I'm trying to do it as carefully as I can let's take this out of the way now um, you can see, as I say, it has gone through a little bit. So if you are doing it onto a precious table, then please don't... Um, oh, yes, I really like that. That's worked really well. OK, so what I need to do now is to put this onto the back here. And you can put some glue just around the side if you want to, but I want to show you that you can use... This is our stamp and seal so I'm just going to literally with the stamp and seal roll it up a bit take it down just 
doing it all the way around the sides hoping it's coming as it is it's running quite smoothly at the moment so it's on there now if you want your center to be stuck down nicely you can actually go over the top of that as well I'm not going to do that because I don't think I need it and then I'm just going to center my frame in on here center it as best as I can it's not going to be perfect and then we can just put that did I get any glow on there or not I don't think I did it's quite funny this glue sometimes it glues sometimes it doesn't no it's not wanting to glue on this no we're gonna have to use our wet glue Good old reliable wet glue. Um, you can use it, um, but it doesn't, because my alcohol ink hasn't completely, completely dried, um, it's not wanting to stick on there. But as I say, I can do it quite easily just with some wet glue just round on that frame. So I've just got a little bead. And then we'll turn it over and we can put this on here. Let's hope that it's not going to put it as near into the centre as I can. I really like this one. I think this has come out really nicely. So easiest way again so you're not getting bits and pieces everywhere turn it over and just smooth it over this way so as I say it's, it's then this frame's going to stick but you're not sticking your fingers which as I say you do get a little bit of colour on it and then we can just turn that over and you've got that you know look at that I think that that is just absolutely beautiful where that's run. That's probably one of my favourites. So a lot of alcohol on there. Um, and then I have just taken, which is, I think just looks really pretty. I'm going to put that in straight over the top because it then takes it. Um, you could just put a sentiment in there. Um, let's have a look and see with them. Um, sentiment so yes you could just put a sentiment if you wanted to leave it as it was or as I say you can put a flower or something like that in there and then you've got all the bits from the background coming through which is rather nice um, if you wanted to and that was something I was going to show you as well so if you want to let's take this one and put this on here if you stuck this on here and you had your frame if you then turn it over you can colour through on these little pieces to get your flower with, with a little bit more sort of definition and things in. But as I say, I think that that has worked really, really well. I love that background. I think, as I say, that's one of my favourites. I do like this effect where you've got the little clusters, but I do also think that that looks lovely. Now, one more just before we go, <laughs> just to say, I did one earlier and what I wanted to do was to just get a little bit of gold sparkle on there so it was a very quick way of doing it I just took my Versamark pad put it across which is why it sort of got that sort of square look but I think that that looks quite sort of rustic um, and then just put some gold now we're selling gold silver and copper together so you can get all sorts of different looks if you want to so um, you can also, if you take um, the Versamark, you can actually just sort of draw around. Um, I would use um, a dry brush um, and just literally put some little lines around and you can then get the gold. Now I did this, but it was a bit too bulky. So if you look at this one, um, where can I put that? Let's put it on the back of there that I just sort of drew some lines round but it was a bit thick but 
you know, if you refined it down, you can get the little lines and things coming round and you've got uh, um, a, a gold effect on it as well if you want to. So, as I say, each one will come out differently. You'll never get two that are exactly the same. But I must admit that this is probably my absolute favourite. And as I say, I don't know even if I'm going to do anything more to that apart from put a little sentiment maybe down at the bottom and just leave it as it is. Um, so anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Hope you'll have a go. I know some of you have uh, um, have been doing this um, recently as well. Um, so, you know, be uh, um, interesting to see how you how you get on in, in doing some of these lovely sort of patterns. But um, thank you so much for watching me. As always, please stay safe and well and please be kind. See you again soon. Bye bye.